Okay, what are we going to do today? What we're going to do today is talk about finance, net monetary flow from operation, from running their business. How much money did they make? Some group, which has basically bought up all the stock in a company. Am I making sense? Everybody understand when they say capital gains. What I mean by capital gains is I bought the stock for fifteen dollars. I look at Engine Nine and Ninety, and it was Barrett Hazeltine had such forward thinking at the time. Brown was not as enlightened about the things that Barrett Hazeltine was teaching as they have since become. Because the university has historically kind of shied away from business related things and the students must have been missing something and, and Barrett seemed to find what it was they were really interested in. Everyone was talking about how great Barrett was and I was like I have to see this for myself and I went in and he shook everyone's hand and he was running around the classroom and I was like, okay, I have to say something every class so I can get him to shake my hand. The, the, the usual expression is uh, SG and A. You're just new to an Ivy League school and you, you, know, you don't know what you're getting yourself into. And you, know, you go to Engine 9 and it gives you a sense of relief. It kind of makes you understand what type of school you're at. And I think it gives kids a comfort level. You'd have really, really interesting ideas because People weren't thinking in the typical business school mold, they were thinking outside of the box. If you're going to be an entrepreneur, you really have to be able to convince your investor that you understand how... He would how always tell us, you know, that, that we could do things and, uh, and after a while it rubs off, after a while you, you start to believe it. It's sort of like a draw to try to just, maybe I could do it better than others and maybe I could do it myself, you know, I think there's definitely that feeling of... Why not? Engine 9 and 90 have really opened windows for students. They feel that, that, that they have given them a very practical view, a sense of what they might want to do with their lives. I think part of that is the type of students Brown attracts are the type of students that are going to take an idea and not just sit around on it, but act on it. It's been a sort of a cornerstone of the Brown, Brown education and we want to keep it moving. This is a really interesting course, but it's still very Brown and I loved it. Peter, Paul and Mary do you guys know about Peter, Paul, and Mary? Uh, and then, anybody know who John Belushi is anymore? Yeah, okay. I think he has so much knowledge about so many different kinds of subjects that sometimes it seems as though we can go in lots of different directions in the class. When you're sitting across the table from somebody from Goldman Sachs, is everybody motivated? Am I making sense to anybody? How many people are, 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 are totally confused? What I like best about um, Professor Hazeltine and his class is that he has a way of not intimidating anyone. Okay, Jimmy, up there. Your friends okay? Everybody in the back row okay? He doesn't come across as knowing all the answers, as being the expert. And he gives you the opportunity to find the answers. The question is why, why are we doing this? There is this um, endearing level of disorganization to the entire process that frankly keeps people Riveted. He puts those transparencies up there and he goes through many transparencies and, and sometimes he's hard to follow because he gets so excited about what he's teaching. I'd love to actually grab that stack of transparencies and organize them for him someday. I don't really have a good feel for why they're always so confusing, but he just seems to, there's always something wrong or something's backwards. <laughs> there's a lot of, there's a lot of stuff on them, that's for sure. <laughs> actually, your copy looks nicer than mine. I sort of don't think as linearly as most people do, so I would probably do the same thing if I were a professor. I think probably in the early 70s, over at Transparency was probably cutting edge, so... Uh, I can see the sort of immediacy that he can have in interacting with the transparency that you can't get in PowerPoint. He just writes all over those things, and there's arrows pointing everywhere. <laughs> and then try to erase it, but it'll just like make a big mess, so then everything's blurry. And so they're frankly rooting for him from the crowd to have it all work out okay. Uh, if it's not broke, don't fix it. They're a great teaching tool. <laughs> I think Barrett just has a real sense, a real way of how to go out and meet the students, talk to them, and then get them to be involved in what, what he's teaching and what he finds interesting. Barrett was, is great at asking the right questions at the right time and bringing people to a level maybe that they wouldn't have gotten to by themselves. But that starts right immediately in class with his ability to encourage students, to connect to students, to make them feel that what they have to say is important and and to genuinely be interested in their lives. Barrett really has touched my life. I see myself actually applying what I've learned over the years to actually go back to Africa and try and solve problems. He 
uh, just had a huge impact on me, as, as I know he did on many people. He looked after every, each and every single one of us. And I think that's really rare to give with a lot of generous spirit um, and with a lot of thoughtfulness and care. It's important to me to try to emulate some of the things that he does because I think that they're invaluable for the educations of lots of students. How does he do this? Even, even though I can't quite be fair, how do, I, how do I try to connect with people even though there's a hundred students sitting here? How can I try to sort of make those connections in some way? Barrett's been more than a, a colleague, he's been a mentor to me. When you actually feel the professor you know, knows who you are and cares about who you are, it really makes a difference. And I don't know whether it's encouraged, I don't know where it comes from, and I think it should be encouraged. That's something that makes Brown what it is. Is everybody motivated? Does everybody see what we're trying to do?